Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So continuing with our look at envelopes in FM8 this month, last week we covered some of the essentials around kind of designing and customizing your own envelopes in FM8 and even just using some of the presets and what all these parameters are doing and how we can sort of start tweaking our envelopes and stuff. So we're gonna take it one step further today look at some of the pitch envelopes and filter envelopes and in the process of just kind of creating this sound what I played for you there which has a customized pitch envelope and a customized filter envelope on there so let's start off with a new sound and just get the sound together very quickly so I'm going to go to the operator page and use all six operators for this sound so turn all six operators on and these are all going to route to the filter so F can go in pretty much full volume, E slightly quieter around 70 or 80 D around 60 E at around 90 and then A and B around 50 so about halfway and then let's let's set up some waveforms then quickly well let's route the filter to the output so we're going to get a sound push the filter to the output full volume for now so just a stat sine wave let's sort this out let's put some waveforms in here operator F I'm going to have a sawtooth and operator E I'm going to have a second formant D I'm going to have a 1 plus 5 and C I'm going to have a sawtooth take the ratio up to 2 push that cut off up for now so you can hear the sound a bit better and B take the ratio up to 3 and let's have a square wave in there and a parabole waveform for operator A and take the ratio to 2 and let's just feed some of these operators into themselves just to grit the sound up a bit to the master section now boost the voices up to four and let's pan them out nice and wide and keep that detune around 25 27 let's boost some digital and some analog Adding a nice sort of chorusy quality to the sound. Let's transpose it down by one octave as well. So hitting a C3 note, I'm getting that nice, quite rich sort of paddy sound. Let's take this volume up, down a bit for now. So now let's look at our envelopes. First set of envelopes, and I'm not sure if I explained this in the first tutorial, but this link button here we can actually link all our envelopes together in here so now any edits I make to any one of these envelopes whilst they're all linked together it's going to edit them all so if you watch if I drag the release out of this envelopes for operator C all these operators what I linked together and now any edits I make it's going to affect all six of them and you can take them out of the link group like this and now obviously D and E I've taken out of that link group and they're not getting affected now when I make changes in operator C. So it's something to be aware of if you are linking your envelopes together and you want to edit another envelope and edit it slightly differently, make sure you check out the link group because then you, otherwise you're going to edit all your envelopes. So let's link all these together. So we've got a nice sharp attack on the sound and some sustain and then a nice bit of release as well. Make sure they're all linked together here. So a very simple envelope for the operators. I'm going to get a bit more complex with the envelopes looking at the filter and the pitch. So 
in this filter section here at the moment envelope's not going to have an effect on the sound until we use this envelope amount and push this up a bit so first off I'm going to set the filter cut off one it's going to be about 24 and resonance pulled down to about 37 38 I'm actually going to change the mode of this filter as well so all the way to the left it's a low pass all the way to the right it's a high pass and then we get something like a band pass when we're around the middle so about 66 67 so we've got a bit more of a band pass filter going on now and filter 2 keep the spread at 10 resonance just pulled down a bit it's about 25 and the mode can stay the same and the routing can stay the same and now let's push this envelope amount up to about 65 and now let's set up an envelope in here to control this sound a little bit more so we looked at tempo sync in our envelopes last week so with everything set up as it is keep everything the same just tempo sync this envelope now and you notice when I hit tempo sync I now get kind of grid divisions in this envelope whereas before when it's not tempo synced it's just times it's just seconds basically that's one second two seconds so tempo synced and then what we want to do is we want to set up an envelope loop and now in order to do this at the moment if I do this set up this envelope like this it's not really got any sustain it's going to sharp attack and it's just going to slope down <laughs> and it's going to stay at this kind of level as long as we sustain a note but what I want to do is set up a loop so it kind of loops round this section and in order to do this you see this line, this red line here is the end of a sustain loop and this red line at the start, this red line, we drag it out, this is the start of the sustain loop so what I need to do is control click in here somewhere in between these two red lines and you see this dotted line appears now the first kind of extra node that I put in there so now if I hold a key I've created a sustained loop and it's just going to loop over this section which is pretty cool it's a nice way to set up our envelopes so I'm going to sharpen up that attack again and I'm going to pull this extra node that I put in there pull this right to the start so we're going to get a sharp attack it's going to kind of loop over like that but I want it to be a bit of a slower loop so we're going to zoom right out and this point here this kind of sustain this sustain end loop so how long it's going to sustain this loop's going to last for I'm going to drag it out so it's now over two bars it's quite a slow loop it's a paddy sound so I don't want too much movement too much quick movement and now with that set the mode was on SLD for slide before check it to fixed so now it's going to be this fixed envelope and so if I start messing around with some of these points if it's on slide if I start messing around with stuff put an extra point in there and move this around it's going to edit our end point and we're not going to be looping over that nice two bar section anymore so hit it on fixed and now if we start making any edits we're still looping over the two bar section so so that's all set up now let's go to the pitch envelope and this is really interesting section of FM8 can start customizing our own pitch envelopes and all the principles are the same as using one of these envelopes for an amplitude envelope or a filter envelope only the pitch by default as you see here it's kind of these lines, it's all halfway. So basically, this means that we can go. Or we need to set up the same way as we did with the filter here envelope amount. We've got pitch envelope amount here. So if I do an edit in here, this has a sort of quite a subtle sort of pitch effect. So if I push this envelope amount right up, 
much stronger effects because we've increased the amplitude envelope of this pitch. So by default, the pitch envelope here is this P kind of dash dash dash. And so it's halfway in the middle. So basically we can go up or down. Which is pretty cool. So let's just reset that envelope again. So I want to create what we had on that sound there, which is like a little dip. So it's pitched right down and it just shoots up very quickly. And then we get this really interesting sort of pitch envelope shape. So I'm going to tempo sync this envelope again. And I'm going to control click in this section before the sustain loop starts. Control click in here. And start of the sustain loop, drag all the way out to this 2 over 2 here. So we've got a bar section before we enter the sustain loop. And let's zoom back in again. Control click. And that gives us another kind of sort of envelope node. And as I was saying before, I want that. That nice, interesting kind of start point to the sound. Maybe just cut that in half. Got that really interesting sort of. Let me take that down to about 85, 83. It's giving us a really interesting attack on the sound. If I take this envelope off, put it back on. Quite an interesting sort of start to the sound, and then this sustain loop, I want this to start at one bar, so drag this back out. And what we can do here as well now is maybe just loop this sustain over for a few bars, so drag the second point out to about four bars. And if you want it to be exactly at zero so it stays at perfect pitch, you can just double click in that level with this envelope node highlighted, double click in the level, hit zero, and then it's a perfect pitch at the end of that sustain loop now. And with this sustain loop and envelope set, let's just check the mode to fix so we stay over this kind of section. We're not going to mess around with this end point here because it's exactly on the bar. And let's, let's push this envelope kind of node here. Let's push this up so we get this kind of subtle sort of pitch rise on the sound and maybe just back off this slope a bit let's add an extra node in there control click Get this down to about zero and let's just pull that down a bit as well And the end point, let's pull that down so we get this kind of like pitch slide at the very end. And we've got this really with these two envelopes we've set up there the pitch and the filter envelope. We just sustain a note and we've got quite an interesting sort of sound that's kind of looping over those sustain loops or those envelopes. So let's finish this sound off now. Let's add some effects. Let's boost the bit of high frequency in the sound. Add a peak EQ. And I notice some quite resonant frequencies going on there. So just dip them out. Boost a bit of level here. Flanger. Bit of movement. Pull the dry wet down. Push the color up. Pull the rate down. Plenty of reverb. Pull the treble and bright down a bit. And some chorus delay. 
and let's just sync it all. Spread out some of that delay. Add a bit of feedback. Pull the dry wet down a bit as well. There we go, we sustain a note, we've got quite a cool sound. And one final trick that we could do is I quite like to sort of detune some of these operators a little bit, but rather than having to go through and sort of tweak the ratios, what we can do here is go to this easy morph section, drag up that detune to something that we like, maybe 29, hit apply, and if we go back to the operator section, it's detuned all of these operators. And there's our sound. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, then get in touch. Make sure you get yourself over to our website, fm8tutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on there featuring FM8. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.